Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a fountain pen review for you. I will be reviewing this. It is the Marte Modena Citizen. Marte Modena is an Italian website where they sell sort of luxury goods like fountain pens, fine watches, wallets, things like that. And they have been selling other manufacturers fountain pens for a while, but they decided to produce their own line or have their own line of fountain pens produced. And they sent this pen to me for review. It is called The Citizen. And this particular version of The Citizen is the Madrid. They have different major cities, London, New York, places like that. And they have different colorations based on either the city flag or the national flag of the country where that city is located. But it's an interesting pen. I would like to show it to you now. We'll get in there. I'll show you the packaging. We'll do a little writing sample. We'll talk about all the details of the pen. So let's get started. The Marte Modena Citizen comes packaged like this. You have a sleeve showing sort of the international nature of this pen line. Take that off. You have a little bit of information here on the back showing the dealer's stamp, the model, the date of purchase and then just some information about the collection, a little bit about the warranty. It is a two year warranty, by the way, and some instructions. And then you have this sort of leatherette case. You open it up and of course the pen would be inside. So not bad for presentation. The pen itself is actually produced by Marlin. They're an Italian pen company. They're produced by Marlin for Marte Modena. I keep saying Marte, Marte Modena, Marte Modena. I think that's how you would actually pronounce it in Italian. It is made out of resin. So resin in fountain pen parlance is basically just another word for plastic, but it's not quite plastic. It's not extruded plastic. This is actually hand turned from solid bars of resin. Um, so you'd have a lathe and you'd, or a lathe, and you would turn the bit resin bar until you actually got the body of the pen. Let me just take a look at sort of the aesthetics of this pen. You can see that nice iridescent resin there if the camera focuses, please. Quite lovely. You have an end cap here. There's a little design around the bottom of the cap. The clip has the Marte Modena laser engraved upon it. I believe it's gold plated steel. The finial has the Marte Modena logo there, sort of a shield. They mention in their literature, quote, the beautiful clip with its shape resembles a knight's sword, whilst the cabochon symbolizes a shield to allegorically honor the modern knight that fights against the wiles of society. A little hyperbolic there, but I think I enjoy the imagery. If you take off the cap, you can post the pen if you wish, post quite nicely and securely. You have the section here, which is made of a different color, sort of that iridescent resin. Quite lovely. You do have an ink view window, which is nice. It's kind of reminiscent of more old fashioned classic pens. And then the nib here is a number six size nib, and it's produced by Peter Bach in Germany. They make a lot of fountain pen nibs. I think they're the world's largest manufacturer of fountain pen nibs. And this is a steel nib, um, 18 karat gold plated, I believe. And I do think it has an actual iridium point on it, though I'm not completely sure. That's what they call it, but often when people call it iridium, it, not, it isn't necessarily iridium. And this particular pen has a medium nib on it. Now this pen can actually fill in a couple different ways. It does have a blind cap on the end. You can unscrew and it has a piston like mini piston filler pens, but it's not really a true piston filler. It is actually a cartridge converter pen. So it comes with a standard inter international cartridge. So you could, you know, remove it from the body of the pen as you would a normal cartridge converter pen and fill it this way. Or if you prefer, you can just use the blind cap and it will also fit standard international cartridges. So I mentioned this was a number six medium nib made by Peter Bach. They only come in medium at the moment. That M, by the way, is the Marte Modena logo, not signifying that it's a medium nib. Um, they only come in medium for now, but they are going to offer other sizes later, extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. 
I don't know how easily this would unscrew from the section or if it pulls out, I haven't attempted to do that. So I'm not really sure if it would be easily replaced or not. And as I mentioned, this pen does come with a two year warranty. So that's not bad at all. The measurements on this pen, the length from the top of the cap to the bottom of the pen is 5.63 inches or 14.3 centimeters. The width is 0.63 inches or 1.6 centimeters and the weight is about 0.81 ounces or around 23 grams. So not really heavy, but it does feel fairly substantial in the hand and it's a fairly good size pen. I'd say kind of a, a good healthy medium. I have other pens here that you may be familiar with. If we line up the Citizen with the Lamy 2000, you can see they're similar, at least in length. I think the Citizen is a little wider. Here is a Lamy Safari, which is larger than them both. Here's a Pilot 823, a little bit longer, maybe a touch narrower, um, and then a little Caveco Sport. So it's not a huge pen, but it's a fairly healthy, good size medium pen, I would say. Now, as I mentioned, this particular pen is the Citizen of Madrid, but there are many, many other cities to choose from, New York, London, um, lots of different international cities with all sorts of different color combinations. I will put in the description box below a link both to the Marte Modena website and then also to the Citizen line so you can check out all the different colors that they have. But let's try to do a little writing with this pen. All right, I'm straddling my tripod as per usual when I try to do these writing samples, so my writing is always horrible, but we'll make the best of it. We have here... The Marte, I don't know if they capitalize this, Modena, Citizen, and this is the Madrid, and this is a medium nib. Um, a stainless steel medium nib. And it is filled with, what do I have in this? I think it is diamine oxblood. One of my favorite inks, one of my favorite diamine inks. Is that an X? I don't know if that's an X or not. We'll pretend it is. And if we just do a little writing here, let's see. Yes, they certainly are. It writes quite smoothly, actually. I haven't had to do anything to this nib, haven't had to tune it at all. The alignment seemed quite nice right out of the box. It lays down a pretty good amount of ink, a little patch here. I wouldn't say it's really, really wet, but um, I've never felt like the feed wasn't able to keep up with my writing. I haven't had any skipping or anything. It seems to do quite well. I don't know, I haven't tried doing just the weight of the pen that does not work so you do have to put a little pressure on but it's not super wet but i found it totally fine i don't know about reverse writing does anyone actually do that actually it puts a nice very legible but very fine line there there isn't really any line variation to speak of um, like i said it's a stainless steel gold plated nib you get a little bit but i don't really want to put too much pressure on this it just doesn't feel like there's any give really at all but a nice smooth experience. I don't notice too much feedback. It's not glass smooth, but it's not scratchy at all. There's just a slight amount of feedback, so you know you're making contact with the paper, but not bad at all. And yeah, no issues at all. No skipping, no hard starting. I haven't had any problems whatsoever. So I have enjoyed using this pen quite a bit. I like the size, the weight, the feel, the way it writes. 
It cost currently $101.53 on the Marte Modena website or around 97, 99 euros, something like that. So it's not cheap, but it's definitely not too expensive, I don't think, for what you get. Maybe for the price, I would prefer an actual piston filler, but it's also kind of versatile. I like the fact that you can use cartridges if you wish, or you could do the cartridge converter. I like the fact that there is this blind cap, so you can fill it this way. All in all, I'm pretty impressed. So there you have it, the Marte Modena Citizen, this particular version being the Madrid. I like this pen quite a bit. I like the size, the weight. I found it comfortable to write with. I think the nib was of good quality. Um, the coloration, I actually like this particular combination, but if you do not, there are many other ones to choose from, all the different cities that they have in this line. For the price, I think it's of pretty good quality. The handmade nature of it, the fact that it's, you know, resin turned from a single bar, you don't get a gold nib, it's a gold-plated steel nib, and it is a cartridge converter. So if you really look around, you can get a Lamy 2000 that does have a gold nib and does have a piston filler for around the same price. But I think all in all, it's a good quality pen of a decent price, and I enjoyed using it very much. So thank you so much for watching my review of the Marte Modena Citizen Madrid. I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience, and this has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.